name is Paulata Lihabi and today we are at the Nairobi Safari Walk. Join me and my team and let's have fun together. Ta-da! From the CBD, you can go to Matatu heading towards Langata Road, Orongai, and they're available next to Naiva Supermarket, Moy Avenue, Afia Center, or Nairobi Railways. It takes only about 20 to 30 minutes to get there when there's no traffic. We arrived at around 12 noon and the weather was very hot and dry. Don't forget to carry drinking water and other essentials such as hats or sunglasses in case you plan to visit. The animals around welcomed us this way, so you should be very keen as they can snatch food from you. At the time of the visit, they were charging 215 Kenya shillings for adult citizens and 125 Kenya shillings for children. For non-citizens, it was $22 for adults and $13 for children. In case you're hungry, they have a three-star restaurant where they provide delicacies and there's no need to worry also you can carry your snacks, there's no restriction. The only thing is to be cautious with the animals that are walking around and also you're discouraged from feeding the animals. This place is open all year round and you can get to enjoy activities such as bird watching, game viewing, walking and photography among many others.
In case you're new, a map of the whole area is provided to keep you on track and to ensure that you get to enjoy the whole scenery without leaving anything out. This is a good site for both kids and adults and also a major tourist attraction. The good thing about it was the fact that there was no time limit on how much time you can spend there as long as it's open. This was the beginning of a long walk to freedom. With different tree species that offered a lot of fresh air, you can tell it's going to be an awesome journey. The long walk is also fun and exciting to go with friends because you barely notice that you've walked for so long. Along the paths were different boards, each giving a detailed explanation of the animals that we came across. This made the walk even more interesting. At this point, we got a glimpse of some hyenas and buffaloes, even though they were too far, we could not capture them well. Most of the animals were enclosed except for a few monkeys and tiny antelopes that we came across as we walked. Lonely.
It is important to note that when the sun was too hot, the animals were inactive or they hid from the sun, so it would be better to come early in the morning. The safari walk has three ecosystems which include forest, this provides for different tree species which are also home to different kinds of insects, birds and wildlife. My gosh, you're a lion, I'm a nini. Yeah, I'm a lion. 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 Secondly, we have the savanna, which is about conserving several tree species and animals that love such kind of an environment. Third, we have the wetlands, which has water throughout the season and allows aquatic plants and animals to survive. From the forest, we strolled along these wooden bridge trails that were so strong and so stylish, indicating nature all around. From there, we got a better view of the lions, cheetahs, leopards, to name but a few. There were also these wooden compartments at different points that also allowed visitors to enjoy their snacks while viewing the animals through a hard glass window. The view of these lions close to each other was just amazing. This place was fun and I would definitely recommend it. It was worth every penny that you paid for.
Some of the most important things to remember when coming to this place is one, they do not accept cash. So you have to pay by Mpesa or use a card. Two, always carry your national ID card. Three, keep the ticket they give you until you leave the place.